Hi guys, so last week we talked about how we are working on becoming experts on characters. That's our big goal for this unit. We want to learn everything there is to learn about our characters. And last week we talked about how we could collect information about main characters um, using the front of the book and the back of the book and the first few pages of the book. So when we did that last week, we learned that Scaredy Squirrel is scared. He never leaves his tree. He's scared of germs. He has a pretty boring day. He does the same thing over and over again, but he's very prepared for an emergency. So we have two character traits there, and I'm going to underline them. So our first character trait is that Scaredy Squirrel is someone who is scared all the time. He's a worry wart. He constantly is just thinking about what is going to happen. Okay, so scared, and he's but he's also prepared. So that's another character trait that we have for Scaredy Squirrel. We know he's scared of everything, but he's also pretty prepared for everything, too. So this week, we're going to read a little bit more, and this time we're going to pay attention to how characters respond to problems that they have. So think back to those questions that you just answered uh, with those situations. The first one was about an ice cream cone. And the way that a character reacts to that situation can tell us a lot about them. So let's say you're reading a book and your character drops his ice cream onto the ground. And then he has a huge temper tantrum. He screams at his mom and he throws things. Well, that's going to tell us a lot about the character traits, right? That's, that character might be immature. You might say that he's kind of rude. May, you might say that he doesn't handle problems very well so it could tell you a lot about that character and the same thing with that second scenario so that scenario was about a bully and if your character has a friend that's being bullied and they say well i'm just gonna leave him i don't care i'm playing then that you might say that character is mean you might say he's selfish you might say he's rude right but if that character says, yeah, you know what, let's go home, and he leaves with his friend, or if he helps his friend find an adult to get help with that situation, then you might, then that will tell you that your character is kind or thoughtful or handles problems really maturely. So the way that our characters react to situations can tell you a lot about them. So we're going to read a little bit more about Scaredy Squirrel, and we're going to see how Scaredy Squirrel reacts to problems and what that can tell us about him. And maybe even change his, um, maybe even change his character traits a little bit. So this is where we left off last week. It says, Thursday, 9.57 a.m. A killer bee appears! Scaredy Squirrel jumps in panic, knocking his emergency kit out of the tree. This was not part of the plan. So I see that as soon as something happened, even though he was really prepared, it doesn't seem like he stayed calm. He freaked out. So I'm going to put down in my notebook that what he did was he knocked, he got really overwhelmed and knocked his um, first aid kit out of the tree. So he did not handle that problem very well. He got way too excited. Scaredy Squirrel jumps to catch his kit. He quickly regrets this idea. The parachute is in the kit, but something incredible happens. He starts to glide. Scary Squirrel is no ordinary squirrel. He is a flying squirrel. Oh man, he could fly the whole time. He didn't need a parachute. He feels overjoyed, adventurous, carefree, alive until he lands in a bush. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the killer bee, not to mention the tarantulas, poison ivy, green martians, germs, and sharks. Well, that's good. So he seems like once he got out of his tree, he, he didn't mind it. Oh, then he plays dead 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later. So 
that's another way that Scaredy Squirrel reacts, right? He reacted by played, he played dead for a long time. So that tells me he's not being super brave, right? He's not getting up and walking around. It tells me that he is, um, he's just still too scared to do anything. They call that being timid. Finally, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that nothing horrible is happening in the unknown today. So he returns to his nut tree. All this excitement has inspired Scaredy Squirrel to make drastic changes to his life. Oh man. Scaredy Squirrel's new and improved daily routine. Wake up. Eat. Look at view. Jump into the unknown. Play dead. Return home. Eat. Look at view. Eat. Look at view. Go to sleep. So I guess at least that's something new that he's doing. So now the way that part of the way that he reacted is now every day he jumps out of his tree. That's pretty cool. P.S. As for the emergency kit, Scaredy Squirrel is in no hurry to pick it up just yet. Uh-oh. It's in Poison Ivy. The end. All right. So Scaredy Squirrel, the way he reacted was he knocked his first aid kit out of the tree and then he played dead. So that tells me that he was not brave. And we said that sort of the opposite of, of brave is we could call that timid. Okay, so that's our character trait for Scaredy Squirrel. And that's not something that's super new. He was very timid because he didn't, he played dead. So I'm going to write that. And then the other thing we learned is that he did make a change. So after um, after all this happened, now every day he jumps out into the, the unknown. So he um, got a little bit, bit braver. And now he jumps out of his tree every day. So when he had a problem, at first, Scaredy Squirrel was timid he was still scared and he played dead okay but then he did get a little braver and now he jumps out of his tree every day so i can see that he changed a little bit and i can also add a little bit of bravery he's at least trying something new okay so we added a little bit more to our knowledge of scaredy squirrel so as you guys are working today you guys are going to go read another scaredy squirrel book a different one than he read last week, and I want you to pay attention to how Scaredy Squirrel responds to problems in his book, and what that can teach you about the kind of character he is. So think about what character traits would really describe Scaredy Squirrel when he responds to his problems. Okay, go read!